So we will design pile foundation based on the give following given data FC prime, FY, column dimension, PU and MU from analysis results and the minimum cover to centroid of reinforcement. We also have here the standard details of structural piles and the result of soil analysis. So, we will start with the design of pile cap. In designing pile cap, we have first to determine how many piles and what is the size of pile that we are going to use. So here, based on the soil test result, we can observe that refusal is consistent from depth 9 meters down to 15 meters so most likely we will use 9 meter long pile now Considering PU and MU, let's select pile. So here we have the outer diameter of pile and the allowable axial load. So let's try 350 meter diameter pile with allowable axial load of 86 tons. So let's try 350 mm diameter pile with allowable axial load of 86 tons if you multiply this by 9.81 this will be equal to 86 times 9.81 equals 843.66 kilonewton per pile Now, let us try 3 by 3 equals 9 piles. So, your section would look like, since this is 3 by 3, so the pile cup, the plan view most likely is a square pile cup so these are the piles and this is the column now Let's solve for the spacing, the center to center spacing of pile. So we have spacing of piles equals 2.5 times diameter. equal to 2.5 times 350 so use s equals 
2.5 times 350, 875 millimeters. Now we have the minimum. clear cover from pile cap to edge of pile that is equal to D or 350 mm so Let's solve for the dimension of piles. So, or the dimension of pile cup. So, the dimension of pile cup is equal to 2 times S plus 2 times the minimum clear cover of 350 plus 2 times half of the diameter or the, radio, the radius of the pile which is 175 so the dimension is equal to 2 times 875 plus 2 times 350 plus 2 times 175 equal to 2,800 mm since this is a square pile so each side measures 2,800 mm now let's check for efficiency of the group piles so the efficiency is given by the symbol so we have efficiency equals 2 times the quantity of n1 plus n2 minus 2 multiplied by s minus or plus 4d divided by the perimeter of pile times n1 times n2 where n1 is equal to 1 2 3 n2 is also equal to 3 we have S is equal to 875 mm. D is a diameter of 350 mm. P is equal to pi times D, where the perimeter equals 350 pi. So by substitution, the efficiency is equal to 2 times 3 plus 3 minus 2 times s plus 4 times the diameter divided by the perimeter of 350 pi times n1 times n2 so the efficiency is equal to 2 times 3 plus 3 minus 2 is 4 times 875 plus 4 times 350 divided by 350 pi times 3 times 3 so we have an efficiency of 0 0.8488 or 84.88 percent meaning to say the efficiency is the 
percentage of the allowable actual load capacity that can be used for this group piles so the actual group pile capacity is equal to the efficiency multiplied by allowable actual load per pile of 843.66 multiplied by the number of pile which is 9 that is equal to so we have here 0 0.8488 times 843.66 times 9 equals 6 or 89 6,444.89 kilonewton so that is greater than PU of so P is six thousand four hundred forty-four point sixty five kilo newton therefore it is safe or okay